Remuneration Commission to slash salaries of top state officers will save Kenya a total of 9 billion shillings annually. Under the new structure released by Commission Chair Sarah Serem, the salaries for both the president and his deputy has been reduced by 200,000 shillings each. The salaries for cabinet and principal secretaries has also been revised downwards by about 100,000 shillings. Sitting allowances for members of parliament has also been scrapped. The tax is currently shouldering a massive wage bill that is standing at 627 billion shillings per year, amounting to 50% of the total revenues collected by the government. This is what SRC Chairperson Sarasarem said yesterday while releasing the new guidelines. It also takes into account the performance of the economy and the cost of living in the country. Indeed, a key plank in the review of the salary structure is that of affordability. And of course, ensuring relativity of the wage structure between the state officers and the other public service, or between the highest position within the public sector and the lowest. The commission has not only engaged with various state organs, but also consulted widely with religious organizations, special interest groups, and members of the public on this matter, and in order to factor the aspirations and the hopes of Kenyans. In these engagements, Kenyans have told us in no uncertain terms that public office is a public trust. Public officers and employees must at all times be accountable to the people serve them with utmost responsibility, integrity, loyalty, and efficiency, act with patriotism and justice, and lead a modest life. As a commission, our wish is to ensure there is equity, that there is fairness and harmony in remuneration and benefits. It is our int intention to pro provide through defensible grading and salary structure that we create an industrial peace, hence a conducive work environment for public service. This will be a stepping stone for providing efficient and effective essential service to Anjiko and also facilitate the right environment for economic growth and development in this country. All right, so that announcement made yesterday by SRC Chairperson Asara Serem continues to be big news. The biggest losers being members of parliament after the sitting allowance was scrapped. Her argument is they are paid to work. So why then should they be paid uh, to sit in parliament to do their job? Remember, the mileage allowance has also been scrapped by the SRC. But let's take a look at some of the bits of uh, the revision there for the salaries of state officers. From the president, uh, the new salary, salary, salary currently, beg your pardon, is 1.4 uh, million. And uh, the current sal salary is 1.6, means it has been revised by about 200,000. So the president's new salary, if this will be passed, will be 1.4 million down from 1.6 million. For the deputy president, uh, he will be earning 1.2 million down from 1.4 million, which he is currently earning uh, 200,000 off his salary as the deputy president, same as what has been done with the president in this new revision by the SRC for state officers' salaries owing to the huge wage bill that Kenyans are currently shouldering. And it was not just the president and his deputy cabinet sec secretaries were also largely affected. Their salaries were revised by about 100,000 Kenya shillings. The new salary will be 924,000 shillings. That will be the standard earning for a cabinet secretary in Kenya. Currently, they are earning 1.056 million shillings as cabinet secretaries. The same has been done for their principal secretaries in the various ministries in the country. The revision about 100,000 shillings gap once again. The new salary will be 765,000 thousand shillings but the current salary is eight hundred and seven 
74,500 shillings. So 100,000 shillings, about 100,000 shillings off from their salaries as a principal secretary. Let's go to the biggest losers in this revision by the SRC, and that is the members of parliament. The new salary they are expected to earn now as per the recommendations by the SRC is a 621,250. Their current salary is 710,000. And uh, remember, this is not just it for members of parliament. They have car grants, they have mileage allowance, they have sitting allowance, and all this has been abolished by the SRC. It's seemingly going to be tough for members of the August House. This is some of the revisions that have been made. Remember, they've also been done on the speakers of both houses as well as other state officials. And of course, uh, let's... Uh Take a look at uh, the Twitter poll question we have. We'd like to engage you on this, on whether you are satisfied with the new salary guidelines for top state officers. Are you satisfied with the new salary guidelines for top state officers? Tweet us at KTN News, at Akisawandera. As you participate in that poll, we'd like to know what you think. The hashtag is Worldview for easier tracking of your responses online. And I'll definitely be sampling a number of them just before the end of the bulletin at the top of the hour. Let's now take a short break here on Worldview. Don't go too far. We still have a lot more lined up for you.